point pattern analysis studies the spatial arrangement of points in a geographical space. It has applications in a wide range of areas including wildlife ecology, biology, epidemiology, natural resource management, and criminology. This RLO provides an overview of common distance-based point pattern measures to analyze point patterns, which include the K and L function. It describes how the edge effect can bias analysis results of nearest neighbor and distance-based functions. Further, it will illustrate how Monte Carlo simulation can generate confidence envelopes that indicate for which distance ranges the observed point pattern differs significantly from a random point pattern. Nearest neighbor based point pattern measures, which were described in the previous presentation, take into account the distance between a point event or random point, respectively, and the nearest other event in a point pattern. Since the nearest neighbor is determined by distance, this group of measures, including the nearest neighbor index and the f and g function, represent a subcategory of distance based point pattern measures. Measures that only make use of the nearest neighbor have the drawback that nearest neighbor distances can be very short relative to other distances in the pattern, and therefore mask other structures in the pattern. A common approach around this problem is to determine the average number of all events that are within a given radius from an event in the pattern, and repeat this procedure for a range of radii. The K and L function, which are the focus of this presentation, use this approach. The value of the k function depends on the distance under consideration. The easiest way to understand the calculation of a k function at distance d is to imagine placing a circle with radius d centered on each event. This is repeated for other distances. The figure shows this concept for circles with radii 1, 2, and 3, highlighted for one single event. Next, the number of other events inside each circle of radius d is counted and averaged over all events. This mean is divided by the overall study area event density, lambda, to give the k value for distance d. This process is repeated for a range of d values. The expected value of the k function under complete spatial randomness increases with the distance squared, as shown in the equation. If, for a given distance, the observed k value lies above the k value that is expected under complete spatial randomness, then more events are being counted for that distance than expected. Thus, the point pattern is clustered at this distance. If the observed k value is below the expected k value, this indicates a dispersed point pattern at the distance under consideration. Confidence envelopes, which will be introduced later, can identify whether the clustering or dispersion is statistically significant. The figure to the left shows a random point pattern. The black line in the diagram to the right plots the observed k function for that point pattern. It follows closely the values of the expected k function under complete spatial randomness, shown as the red dashed line. Therefore, it does not indicate either clustering or dispersion in the observed point pattern. The figures to the left show a clustered and a dispersed point pattern. The diagrams to the right show black lines corresponding to the observed k functions. Note that different scales on the y axes are used in the two diagrams. As can be seen in the upper diagram, the observed k function for the clustered pattern always lies above the k function for a random point pattern. This is because the clustered point pattern has more events that are counted around each event than what is expected in a random point pattern. Further, this observed k function has a stepwise shape because the corresponding point pattern consists of two distinct clusters. Up to a distance of about 0.05, the function rises quickly since this range corresponds to the approximate size of the clusters in the point pattern. This is followed by a relatively flat segment up to a distance of about 0.15, which corresponds to the cluster separation. For the dispersed point pattern, the observed k function in the lower diagram rises slower than expected for a complete spatial randomness. This is because within the distance range from 0 to 0.25, fewer other events are counted around each event than what would be expected in a random point pattern. 
all distance functions discussed so far are affected by the edge effect. This arises from the fact that events or random point locations near the edge of the study area tend to have higher nearest neighbor distances even though they might have neighbors outside the study area that are closer than any inside it. As visual inspection of the left figure reveals, these problems become more severe at higher distance values when the circular region around many events extends outside the study area. This means that the k-function does not rise as fast for larger distances as it would if existing events outside the study were considered for point counts. Similar effects can be observed for the g and f functions. The easiest way to counter edge effects is to incorporate a guard zone around the edge of the study area as shown to the right. Filled black dots in the study region are considered part of the point pattern for all purposes. Unfilled circles in the guard zone are used as distances between events in the g and k functions. Likewise, these distances between random points and events are used in the f function but not considered part of the pattern. Besides this method, various mathematical modeling approaches have been developed to handle the edge effect, such as Ripley's isotropic correction. Since the expected k function grows by the squared distance, both the expected and observed values of the k function become large as d increases. As a result, small differences can be difficult to see between expected and observed values in a data plot. One way around this problem is to calculate a function derived from k that has an expected value of 0 for a random point pattern. To convert the expected value of k to 0, one can divide by pi take the square root, and subtract the distance under consideration. This transformation of k values gives the L function. If the pattern conforms to complete spatial randomness, the L function will provide values near zero. The left figures show plots of two well-known data sets. The upper figure visualizes Strauss's redwood seedlings data, which are clustered, and the lower figure shows Numata's Japanese pine data, which are indistinguishable from a random pattern. The right diagrams plot L functions for both point patterns. These diagrams show the uncorrected L function as well as the L function corrected for the edge effect, in this case using Ripley's isotropic correction. The red dashed line shows the expected value for the L function under complete spatial randomness, which is zero. For the Redwoods data, the observed L function is above zero for most distances. This indicates clustering in the provided distance range. As can be seen, the correction for edge effect compensates for fewer observed events outside the study region and raises the L function for larger distances. For the Japanese pine, the observed L function is closer to zero. Whereas the uncorrected L function drops below zero after a distance of around 0 0.1, the corrected L function remains around zero as expected. The previous plots of the K and L functions give us an initial idea of whether or not the observed point pattern is different from a point pattern generated by complete spatial randomness. However, it remains unclear how far the various distance-based functions should deviate from their expected value, such as zero for the L function, before they indicate significant clustering or dispersion in a statistical sense. One common method to obtain the range of expected function values that would occur for a random point pattern is to use computer simulation. Such a simulation approach is known as a Monte Carlo procedure. Consider n to be the number of points in the observed point pattern. A Monte Carlo procedure randomly places n points in the study area and computes the function value of interest, such as the k and l function value, for various distances within the random pattern. Repeating this procedure many times can then be used to construct simulated confidence envelopes. The significance of any departures from complete spatial randomness, such as clustering or dispersion, can be evaluated using simulated confidence envelopes. For the L function, this would mean that for distances d where the observed L value lies outside the confidence envelope, the point pattern is statistically clustered or dispersed, respectively, compared to a random point pattern. 
For the L function, the procedure would be to generate a large number of spatial processes under complete spatial randomness, such as 999. For each of the processes, the L value needs to be computed for each distance and sorted from smallest to largest. We can then read out the 25th and 975th value for each distance and plot the 95% confidence envelope. The figure shows this principle for one distance. However, it needs to be applied to all distances the L function is computed for. Other confidence envelopes, such as the 99% confidence envelope, can be determined in a similar way. The diagrams to the right show the 95% confidence envelopes for random point patterns that contain the same number of points as those in the Redwood and Japanese Pine datasets to the left. The confidence envelope is based on 999 simulations. The blue curve shows the upper and the green line the lower simulation envelope for the random point pattern. For the Redwood point data over a distance band from around 0.02 to 0.2, the observed pattern is more clustered than a point pattern under complete spatial randomness. For the Japanese pine data, the observed L function lies within the confidence envelope over the complete plotted distance range. The L function indicates, therefore, that this point pattern was generated by an independent random process. Though illustrated here only for the L function, it should be noted that simulation envelopes can also be developed for G, F, and K functions. This slide summarizes the presentation. It began by illustrating along with several examples how the shape of the K and L function can be used to describe the structure of a point pattern in a more detailed way than nearest neighbors based methods. Then the presentation explained the principle of the edge effect and illustrated how it can bias results of the K and L function. At the end, Monte Carlo simulation was used as a means to generate simulated confidence envelopes which allow the determination of whether a point pattern is significantly clustered or dispersed at a given distance.